Lewandowski to Newsmax Will Letitia James evict Trump's tenants? New York Attorney General Letitia James has indicated that she's prepared to start seizing former President Donald Trump's assets if he fails to produce a $454 million bond in his civil fraud lawsuit, and one of his former advisors, Corey Lewandowski, said Sunday on Newsmax that would be possible for her to do because many of those assets are solely owned by Trump. Donald Trump is so wealthy that a number of these properties he just owns outright Lewandowski told Newsmax's Sunday agenda. Most people don't realize there is no mortgage on Mar-a-Lago. There is no mortgage on some of these because Donald Trump has grown a massive portfolio and built a multi-billion dollar corporation. Meanwhile, many of Trump's properties, like Trump Tower in New York, have multiple tenants. What is the attorney general going to do? Come in and now be the landlord, he said. Is she going to go in and lock these doors and kick all these tenants out? Further, Trump was unable to get help from companies with meeting his bond because a bond of that level is not available in the United States, said Lewandowski. What we see is the political prosecution of Donald Trump for a crime, which he has never been convicted of, for basically saying his property is worth one price, and now the attorney general, who has no core competency in this whatsoever, saying his worth said Lewandowski. The cases against Trump, however, are boosting his poll numbers, not decreasing them, he added. The American people are with him more, and that is what scares the Biden administration and the mainstream media to death, said Lewandowski. They know that Donald Trump is going to be the next president of the United States. Meanwhile, Lewandowski called for Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fonnie Willis to be disbarred and sanctioned after her testimony concerning her relationship with special prosecutor. She testified under oath that everything she did with her paramour was in cash, he said. There were no banking records of this dot dot dot. I think what's going to happen is the Aggie in that case is going to be removed from the case and hopefully voted out of office in Georgia.